My name is Paul Baker. I'm one of uh, a number of directors at Wilkinson Air Architects based in London and I was the project director for Gardens by the Bay, an extraordinarily challenging and amazing project in Singapore. The project was to develop two cooled conservatories in the tropics, so two very sizable glass houses to accommodate a really extraordinary collection of plants that would never be able to grow in Singapore without an artificial environment. The idea of the glass houses was in every way to be as original as possible. So whilst we had a very, very strong requirement for the comfort and the cooling and the temperature of the environment, we had absolutely no brief in terms of what they should look like. So the trick that we explored was how to get a really simple structure, a grid shell, as light as possible and then stiffened by a series of ribs that stabilize the grid. That allowed us to have this total clean internal view um, and externally it generated quite a strong form to both of the biomes. One was pulled up to allow for a mountain to sit inside the other one was kind of stretched out to allow for a flower field. The flower field being in the Mediterranean, the mountain being in the cloud forest. As you come closer to the conservatories, you walk into a covered space to give you shade and shelter. Shelter from the sun and shelter most particularly from some of the very heavy rain that sometimes pours down. And that Canopy is a nice counterpoint to the hard steel and glass. It's all about wood. It's got a lot of color in it. It's got a lot of play in it. And it's also deliberately quite dark so that the drama of entering the conservatories is amplified by the darker compressive space on the outside. So for the Mediterranean biome, you come in through a deliberately compressed space where color starts to be really strong. The lid is squashed down so that when you come into the biome itself, everything opens up and unfolds. And we played some nice tricks in terms of encouraging the sight line to pull you into the space. There is no set path. You can go anywhere you like, it's your own adventure. So it's all about you making your own route and understanding and exploring the building. The cloud forest is very different. It's an entirely prescriptive route. As you enter, again, you're coming from a more compressed, darker environment, and then you're completely assaulted by the cold, the wet of the waterfall, the real drama of moisture and noise. So as you walk around the forest floor, you explore the base of the mountain and then take a lift to the top. We felt that it was very important to do the last bit on foot, so you actually do climb to what we called the Lost World. That then allows you to do the descent in a really creative way, so we have a series of staircases, escalators, but most particularly a series of walkways that take you right out into the cloud forest with a whole range of different plants. So the story there is that at all the levels you get a different horticultural experience. So both buildings have got a very different approach and one of the things I really enjoy is that in themselves I think they're fun but I think the combination of the two is part of the real pleasure because you get a real balance of experiences. One's cold and wet and much more excitable. You're kind of challenged more in terms of vertigo and the route. The other one is much softer, a really pleasant place to spend time because of the Mediterranean climate. There's a great restaurant. You can be a lot more relaxed there. The whole team's joy has been experiencing people having the experience. This building has got a pretty strong educational remit, it's got nice messages, but it's also an awful lot about fun. And families and people go there to have fun, but to also celebrate. So you see a lot of people who are going for wedding photographs or 
just a good family day out. The more travelled you are, the kind of more excited or more complacent you get about those sorts of experience. But being from Singapore and being very much in a very urban society, I think the real drama of a strong, although artificial, dramatic environment is, is quite exciting.